Mike Glenn with Montana DEQ. I'm a vegetation ecologist with the Coal Program, and we're here just south of Coal Strip, Montana. So we're here today at the Big Sky Mine um, for final bond release. So this area was completely mined and fully reclaimed for over 10 years. Um, four kind of key aspects in, a, in this process. Uh, the first one being whether or not the um, surface has kind of been reestablished or the, the hole in the ground has been filled back in. Phase two is whether or not um, there's some vegetation growing. It has to wait a couple of years and that's establishing whether or not uh, sediment is leaving the site or there's any excessive erosion. Phase three is taking a bigger, more landscape-based approach. We have vegetation communities that have been growing for 10 years and whether or not those mimic what we would expect to see on native communities adjacent. And then for phase four, um, we're basically trying to tie all those things together and then also evaluate whether or not the water is flowing the way we would expect it to, both above the surface and below. Another kind of interesting aspect of this area is it was completely burned last year. Uh, the Richard Spring Fire burned the entire bond release area and all the areas next to it. We can't see a difference, you know. These areas look exactly how the areas adjacent to mining look, and that's a pretty awesome demonstration that the laws and rules that we have in place actually work. We've been out here, DEQ has, um, looking at this from a multidisciplinary approach um, every year for the last 10 years. And, you know, using scientific data that we've collected and other people have collected to say that yes, this area meets those metrics. You know, we've got areas out here that are right next to the mine that weren't impacted at all. And when we're looking at them today, the boundary is literally a fence line. You can't see a difference in the, the reclamation versus the native communities right adjacent.